This is a valve reconduit. It was invented by Nikola Tesla in the 1920s. Um, it was invented about the right same sort of time as the, the Tesla turbine. Um, what it does, it's, it's quite a simple concept. Basically, it's a one-way valve, but with no moving parts. Um, air can flow, air or, or any gases or fluids can flow um, freely one way, or fairly freely one way, but is met with resistance going back the other way. And the reason why that happens is when, for example, air is flowing this way, you see each section of the actual um, valve reconduit is split off into two, and the one half comes round and almost um, uh, comes straight into contact with the other half. So each one of these sections, there is a reduction in pressure as it goes along. When it comes through the other way, it's got a much more direct route. Um, it's basically just zigzagging its way through. So when you blow in the back, um, just, just with your mouth, um, you notice a difference in pressure when you blow in one hole compared to the other hole. But it really comes into its own when higher pressure is used. Um, I suppose when, um, when you're blowing into it, it's probably a few psi at most. But if you get into the tens of psi, you start to notice some real differences. And when you get to beyond 100 psi, the differences between the flows, the different ways, are actually quite significant. Um, the, the screws are torque screws. They're T10 torque screws. There's 22 in total. Uh, we've put torque screws in so um, extra uh, pressure can be applied to to get a good seal on the plate. For most people, um, the seal will be absolutely fine. You shouldn't notice any leaks. But those that do put really high pressures, you could always add a gasket in if you wanted to. On the back, we have. Uh, Two holes and they're threaded and they're now M6. Um, previous batches we've done was quarter inch BSP thread. Um, we decided to go to um, M6 this time. That makes the hole smaller but still enough volume um, to actually go through and, and fill the actual um, conduit. Um, you can get adapters. Um, the M6 threads are becoming um, fairly common in industry but not as common as um, the um, half and quarter inch um, threads that are found in car garages etc. Um, so yes you can get adapters, they're commonly available typically they cost um, a pound or two so that's um, uh, what, $1.50 um, up to about $3 something like that. Um, so that's really it, I shall show it running with um, compressed air now Okay, so I'm going to try and um, run the valve reconduit with compressed air going through one way and then the other way. I've got a flow meter here, which has got a valve on it as well. Um, and I'll be able to see what the flow rate of air going through the actual valve reconduit is. Um, so the pressure is um, about 120 um, psi. Um, so I'm now going to turn on the valve on the compressor. And I'm going to turn on the valve on the... Um, on the uh, flow meter and see how much air we get going through. Not much leaks, so I'm going to turn it on and we're going to watch the flow going through. So we did get some movement um, from the actual flow meter, but it was barely lifting up. It possibly got to about 1 uh, CFM. So if we have a look which direction that was going through. That was going through the um, the path of just with the most res resistance basically that was the, the flow with the restriction. So we're still getting some flow going through here um, but it's hardly anything. So what we're going to now do is just um, undo that and uh, put it on the other end. See the fitting is only just out by hand tight. Not too worried about getting slight leaks, etc. I'll put it on the other end. Okay, that's really tight. 
So this should um, allow more air to go through. So um, once again, I'm going to turn the the, the air out on the actual um, flow valve. As you can see, um, that was probably two and a half going three. It's a little bit difficult. I was holding at a slight angle, so that does have a little bit of a, a bearing on it. I was doing that on both occasions, but it's definitely a difference between the two. And you probably also see that there was that much flow going through it that the uh, the valve conduit wanted to swing around because of the the pressure pushing it around. Um, so yes, a big difference. Um, higher the pressure, the better it works. There's also some other scenarios where it works even better, which I found out. Um, We've also got a, a metal version this time, which is allows us to do with heat, um, higher pressures, um, just generally more experiments with the actual uh, metal version, which is made out of aluminium.